Uh, and these are uh, wonderful people that we work with to develop presentations based on uh, their story and their experience that can deliver a uh, prevention education message. Uh, and at this point, We've probably been out and presented to uh, well over 2,500 people. So uh, the USA Heat team members are just the, the most uh, wonderful people you could ever meet. They're so courageous uh, to be able to take uh, the details, share the details really of the most horrific experience that any of us could have in order to uh, save other families from, from living through that. This is a problem that is uh, worsening by the day and that uh, we need to bring the uh, full weight of uh, not only the federal government but local and state government uh, as well to bear on this uh, issue if we're going to succeed. You know, these are, are folks who have suffered a, just an unimaginable loss and yet they're committed to using what's happened to them uh, to make our community a, a better place. And so uh, I think that is a, that's gotta be a very taxing experience to share the details of all of this with people that you don't know. Uh, and I think the fact that the uh, Attorney General of the United States would take the time to come and sit down and meet with them and to truly listen to what they've learned and to listen to, to their concerns uh, will certainly be heartening and encouraging uh, as we continue to go about this work. This is a, a terrible problem and I'm not going to come out and say well we're going to have this solved in 60 days. Uh, the, the, uh, the optimistic piece of it is that more and more people are talking about this. People are recognizing that it's a problem. People are recognizing that uh, heroin, for example, is no longer a, a back alley drug limited to just a few people at the end of the road. That heroin is uh, everywhere. It's in the wealthy neighborhoods, the poor neighborhoods, uh, all age groups. And so public awareness is uh, a necessary element to winning this fight. And I think we're, we're beginning to achieve that. And a, a visit from the Attorney General of the United States to Central Kentucky will certainly uh, further that, uh, that aspect of our goal.